Good morning, this is Charlie and we're going to be talking about ISP config and email and how to adjust your email settings for your mailboxes to adjust the spam settings. Uh, what we are looking at here, this is if you have uh, email hosted on our servers, we do actually uh, recommend people take mail hosting with one of the mail service providers. Uh, Microsoft 365, Soho or Google are the three that uh, we, we know and recommend. I have clients across the board on all of those. Uh, the reason I would recommend mail service provider hosting rather than server-based hosting is first of all the spam. You get rid of all of that spam issue straight away. They've got amazing engines, amazing AI type functionality um, that will actually filter the emails and, and make it make it easier for you uh, or in, in the long run. Uh, they've also got larger storage space for email and they work on the reputation mm -hmm. of their service and it, it is key to them to make sure that the reputation of their servers is good so that you don't get hit with spam um, yourself, so you get, don't get hit as a spammer yourself. Okay, but if you do have a uh, server-based hosting with us, this is how you would look at your email addresses and set up your uh, email filtering. So uh, I, I'm logged into my account here, just like you would be logged into your account. You can see that I have my domain here. And I have, uh, this is um, a ghost email address. It doesn't actually work, uh, but I'm using it for example's sake here. Um, because all of my emails are off with another provider. To uh, manage your email, you would go to the email tab. And you'll see that uh, under email, you have your domain. So in this case, it's ispmail.charliedewire.com. For yourselves, it will, it will normally just be your domain name. And then uh, let's just go in and have a look at that. Under your domain name, you can set your spam filter uh, level on its own. So you have a couple of options here, uh, non-paying. These are just set up uh, by standard by the uh, spam filterer, sp spam, uh, sorry, spam filtering software that we use. Uh, normal, permissive, trigger happy, uncensored, wants or spam, wants viruses. Normal is what you would set it to to get a regular level of spam filtering. Uh, and when you make those changes, you can click save to save that off to the database. Then you would go into your email inbox, uh, sorry, your email mailboxes. You would have all of your mailboxes listed here. And if you click on them, each individual mailbox, you don't have to do it for all of them. Once you're into this screen, you can see all the details on your email inbox. Uh, the other thing you can do is I come down to spam filter and you can change the spam filter for each inbox. In this case, it says inherit domain setting. It will pick up what you set up here in the domain setting. With all that, uh, you will have um, the best possible mail filtering that you, oh sorry, the mail, sorry, spam filtering that you can get on your domain. If it is still a problem, we might be able to tweak a little bit more, but if it's a massive problem, you really should consider migrating to one of the mail service providers. Thanks. Did you enjoy that video? Please remember to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you get more updates from me.